top plane again what do we do right click sketch and now I go up to my line tool and I can just create a bespoke shape so it doesn't necessarily have to be shaped let's, let's add some angles in there guys make it look a bit funky okay so there there and then maybe an angle up there and now we're going to add a circle in just here and we can trim using the trim to close this tool down so okay so that's fine now exit out now we've done this um, we can if we lightly click twice we can name all of these so I'm just gonna it's really important within SolidWorks to uh, name them so they're there for you gives you an idea so if you click once and then click twice and it'll let you select in the circle click once click twice slowly click twice so rectangle and then click once click again wait uh, bespoke just call that okay so now we've got all our names we know which is which now we're ready to start applying our extrude first off though we'll go down into a uh, more three-dimensional view so if you go over here you can click on isometric okay so that gives us a nice view now we'll click on the extrude feature and we'll click on our first shape which was the square so give that uh, 100 and green tick that okay if you do get it wrong you can always right click and go edit feature and say it's 19 change you can change stuff really easily so that's so say a great thing so now we've got that okay and we'll do the same for all of these so we can go a bit quicker extrude click on the rectangle we'll give that 50 height millimeters then we we'll go extrude feature again circle Um, circles let's say 80 and then finally our bespoke shape we click on it and we can give that 30 okay so there we go there's all of our shapes now in our history tree uh, we can roll back for instance now just to work on that or we can we can enter any of these shapes now so if, if I've got that wrong, I can change the shape. I can go back into it, right click and change the size. So say the circles, I want that to actually be 100. Um, right click and go 100. So you can change stuff straight away. It's really easy and nice to use. Okay guys, so that um, concludes our first lesson on um, shapes and extrusion, the extrusion feature within uh, SolidWorks. Okay. Okay guys, now we're ready to move on to the third part of the tutorial, which is using a couple more of these tools up here. We're just going to be using the cut extrude tool, basically, um, which allows us to put holes into our objects for, say, for fasteners, such as threads or, um, or screws and, and so on. Um, so this is a really useful tool. Um, we're only going over the basic tools to start off with. Don't want to get too confused or too in-depth just yet best to learn the basics and also how we can go about actually sketching on on these top faces and side faces as opposed to just using the front top right planes okay because that's a really useful um, tool to be able to use within solid work so okay now we've created first off we're going to work on we'll go and work on the square all right so notice that I can select these top planes here and when they go blue that means they're selected on the side faces here so what I want you to do is left click on this top face up here now if you right click here it will give us some options it will edit feature um, which we've done before go back in can uh, change the height of the object edit sketch which allows us to edit the uh, 
dimensions we've already put on the sketch, add items and objects to the sketch, or down here we've actually got sketch. This allows us to basically, if I click on this, watch what happens, sketch. Now, this basically means that if I go to draw something, I'm drawing, my new plane is actually on this top face, which is such a useful tool and you'll use over and over again when using SolidWorks. So, okay, now we're in that. What we can do, because I know I'm sketching on this face, is I can use them, if you click on the uh, keyboard, this will give us uh, an option to bring various views up. What I want to go is normal too. So therefore, it'll bring all of this again flat on um, with my eye, eye level. So therefore, now it's easy to see where I'm locating my 2D sketch object. So all we want to do is we want to use create a circle that's dead on center. Okay, so. I, can, I know the dimensions of that, so the first way to do this is actually just draw a circle. Say, we can, it can be off center, but it's going to be center once we've finished well, using the Smart Dimension tool. So I click on the Smart Dimension tool. Now I add a dimension, so let's say that's 30. Right, okay. This, um, this block was 50, if we can remember, so if I... If I use the Smart Dimension tool, I can pick the center of the circle and the edge here. And what I can do is I can add half the um, dimension of 50. So that was 25. Okay, so half of 50 is 25 because that will be the center there. And now I can do the same for the top. Another neat little trick within SolidWorks is you can actually use in this toolbar here, it can be a calculator. So if I use the tool, say 50, I know that's 50, but divide by 2, okay? So as this little icon here means divide. If you put 50 divide by 2, it'll actually do the sum for you. So that's such a nice little tool to use. Okay, now that's done. I can, if I press spacebar and go to isometric view, okay. We can now go exit sketch because we created our sketch on top there. Features and extrude cut. Okay, right. So we can add dimensions to this. Uh, we can select from here as well through all, which means it will go through all. I don't want to do that. I want to use the blind feature, which allows me to actually add a certain dimension to it. So we'll say from the top, we'll say 50. Okay, now if I go and look at that, that means that my block now has got. Uh, dimension of 50 down. So we've got a hole that's now been cut in our object that's 50. Okay. So, right. Now let's go and now let's draw. I want you to go to our rectangle and we're going to create a hole through the side of this. So, as the same as before, we click on the front here, we right click, we go sketch, not edit sketch, but sketch. And if we click normal two, we can see that actually, wait a minute, this shape's in the way. I want a nice clearer view of that. So what I can do is I can highlight this, which is boss x 4 right click on it and go hide. And that'll hide that to get, back, get it back. All I do is click on the glasses and click show and that will get that back. So if I click on there, hide, now we can add um, now we can use the corner rectangle tool. We're going to actually now use the offset tool. So this tool, and we're going to select a dimension of 10, uh, 5, and just see what happens now. Look, if I select that, actually we can create a line without having to draw anything that's off of a line. So if we go reverse direction, and then I start selecting all the lines around here and these are all now going to be five millimeters off um, so these tools up here if it was the wrong direction once you've selected all of the lines that are around click reverse that will go move inside uh, bi-directional means where you'll get um, both sides which you don't want to use so for now all we need is five and reverse and then this will create a nice even 
box around the inside so I can green tick that now and there we have our dimension so watch what happens if I double click on this dimension that's been created and choose 7 then everything will move it's a really useful tool that you can be used over and over again so that's been created I can green tick that okay just press space or use your uh, keyboard exit sketch extrude cut right remember if I haven't had it selected and go to extrude cut it'll ask me to ex uh, select the sketch so you can actually click on it within the drawing window and if I click on through all oh, that will still through all will mean it's, it will go through there but we want up to next if you click on that then it will just go up to the next thing and create a hole through our box now cool okay right now we can bring back our bespoke shape so if you right click in the history tree and we can go show remember guys we can always go back in if I've created this circle and I'm thinking wait a minute it's not long enough or or it doesn't go all the way through you can always right click go edit feature remember that it's so easy to go back in but I don't want to do that well, that's that's fine I'm just showing you that so that you remember okay finally on the circle we'll just we'll use the uh, sketch on the top we can I mean we can create it this time actually let's create a sketch at the bottom I mean we could create this in the top plane but let's do something a bit different we'll go exit out that sketch we just created right click sketch and we use the offset tool again to offset that let's say 10 mil and put the reverse direction green tick that go exit same as before, extrude cut, and we'll go through all on this one. And that will go take a cut the whole way through. So now if we bring it round, we can see it's got a hole in it. And then finally, play around guys. I mean on this last one, uh sketch, let's say again if we use some we can use all our line tools and I'll pre press normal too to get it up, it's easy to see. I mean we can put some circles all the way along, I don't know. Okay. Click spacebar, isometric view so we can see it. Features. I mean you can actually select the features whilst you're still in a sketch and what this will do it will is it will use that feature on the sketch you're using. So if you just go straight across the features without exiting out of the sketch, go extrude a cut and blind uh, say yeah through all again yeah and that all thing and okay and there we go and that concludes the tutorial on using the extruded cut feature